verification and validation when in software testing these two are very important one first of all the software testing is one of the element of verification and validation and verification and validation in, is one of the element of the software quality assurance software testing software quality assurance so verification is whether software correctly implements a specific function that is if you have made something is it working correctly this is verification validation is what you have done does the user want that is whether a software is traceable to the customer requirement i'll give an example let us say we have written a function as a developer a add a plus b equals c and if it is producing the result correctly c is giving the result of a plus b that is verification has been done but user actually wanted subtract and you have given him add so validation fails because user want something else you have given him something else though add and subtract function even if you are giving them they are working correctly if you check it it is verification but maybe they don't want any of this they would want multiplication so boehm he states the verification is are we building the product right that is uh, have we uh, done enough work that the functions are working properly validation means are we building the right product that is whatever user want are we making for him so this is a kind of venn diagram how does this verification validation relate as i said they are they are coming under software testing which is coming under the software quality assurance so the customer acceptance test and the usability test all is the requirement of user so am i building the right product this comes under validation in validation am i building the product right for that we have to check the unit testing then the integration testing the, the, the various testings are there and if you combine them there is an in between which belongs to both of them regression testing system testing beta testing in fact beta testing and alpha testing they are done with, with the users only in the software development life cycle we do the requirement then we design that is we first design system design then we do the architecture that is the overall structure of the software then the module design and finally we code so the unit unit testing it validates the module component level it will validate it the integration testing will validate the architecture design the system design the system design will be validated by the system testing and finally the requirements will be validated by the acceptance testing the verification and validation the verification verify the intermediated products like the srs like the design documents like the er diagrams test plan traceability matrix and these are done with the developer point of view because as a developer we are verifying what we have done is done correctly or not or some independent team they will see what the use, the developer has done is correctly or not we will verify without executing the software code sometimes so we will do the techniques informal review inspection walk through technical and peer review in validation this is the final end product like the developed software or service or system we need to validate it because it is from the customer point of view whether his requirement has been fulfilled or not so this is validated by executing the software code functional testing system testing smoke testing regression testing and many more